Uh, since when has it been called the Red Canyon? that you recall this place. You must be weak of heart. Each time I speak, it scares you so. Although the battle's at an end, do not feel too at ease. Well, anyhow, I am quite fascinated by this place. As far as I can tell, this is your first time here. Here? I dare say it would be impossible to have forgotten such a place as this. I must admit I am unsure. Beyond the name and this strange feeling of familiarity, I can't seem to remember anything about this place. And yet, a great depth of emotions tied to that sense of familiarity. Like joy and sorrow, pain and love, and all things in between. If I was somehow here before, I wonder what took place. Professor, we should return to the monastery soon. We're all ready for the journey. It is time to depart. But know that time reveals all things. One day I will remember that which I have lost. Oh, by the way, it seems you've earned my gratitude. The thieves who came here are no more. I am not sure myself, yet I am grateful all the same. In any case, you must become accustomed to my voice. If you fall down with shock each time I speak, that just won't do. Oh, you think you're standing strong? <laughs> of course you are. It was a jest. We're finally back. I'll leave the report to Lady Rhea in your hands, Professor. Edelgard. Does the Black Eagle House have a mission to see to? Remember, on a real battlefield, one can never tell what's to come. You can never dismiss the possibility of the worst-case scenario. Take care, Edelgard. There's no need to state the obvious, Dimitri. But tell me, why the concern? Perhaps you doubt my abilities? If so, your lack of insight is disappointing. That's not what I meant. If I've offended you, I hope you'll accept my apology. Don't worry about it. Professor, we must hurry. Everyone's waiting on you. I suppose I should be off too. Try not to let her get to you, Dimitri. I promise you, there's no need for concern. Hmm. <laughs> Puppy love. Uh, you know what? Let, let's entertain that. <laughs> now that's a lark. I had no idea you had a sense of humor, Professor. I'll tell you all about it. Some other time. So you have safely disposed of those bandits. I pray that their souls find salvation. But why did they target the students to begin with? We must further investigate the true cause of all that took place. Until we know more, I ask that you support the students and relieve them of any unnecessary worry. All right, I'm going to make a bold prediction here. Um, I feel like someone involved in the monastery is that red masked guy. And I feel like some sort of... I don't know. You know, like every, everything's happening for a purpose, you know, like a prophecy or something like that. So maybe they're trying to 
overthrow the kingdom to awaken some, you know, ancient god, or, you know, some some nonsense, you know, whatever. I think summon the monster. Good. I have high expectations for you. By the way, how was your time in Xanado? Legend has it in ancient times, a goddess alighted upon this world in that very canyon. For a goddess from the heavens, Xanado could only have been a temporary haven. A goddess? Long ago, the divine Seros received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. The goddess is always watching over Fodlan from her kingdom above. However, in ancient times, the goddess graced this world with her presence and offered salvation to the people here. She is the mother of all life. The arbiter of every soul. My father never told me. I see. During your time here, I pray that you come to devote yourself to the teachings of Seros. Uh, Lady Rhea, I am sorry to interrupt. There is something I must ask about in regard to those bandits. As you wish. We shall continue our discussion when next we meet. A goddess? I have no memory of her. But then, I have no memory at all. Oh, how bothersome. It is as though I know, and yet I don't. Perhaps Xanado was my home back when the goddess walked the land. If so, what does that make me now? A ghost? Are you simple? That's impossible! I am most certainly alive! Of course, we also have the mystery of why I'm here with you. Is it somehow connected? Perhaps some past regret is stopping me from moving on, and now I'm forced to stay with you instead. No, that's not it. I can't believe in such a meaningless existence. I... Uh... <sighs> I I think it's the brother. Uh, flyers have the Canto ability, which allows them to use their movement for. Okay. Part one: White clouds, garland moon, mutiny in the mist. When the warm winds blow from the sea to the south of Adrastia, residents of Fodlin know that the rainy season is upon them. Before the heavy rains take their toll, young women hurry to pick the last of the white roses. The ivory buds are woven into garlands and given as gifts to close friends or potential lovers. I think I'm just going to make the decision that the yellow ones are always experience. Just roll with that. Professor, I have a new mission for your students. We have received reports that Lord Lonato has rallied troops against the Holy Church of Seros. Uh, why would he do that? Lord Lonato is a minor lord of the kingdom. He has been showing hostility toward the church for some time now. A vanguard unit from the Knights of Seros is already on its way to his stronghold, Castle Gaspar. Lord Lonato's army is nothing compared to the Knights. It is quite possible the rebellion has already been suppressed. Even so, I would like for your class to travel with the Knight's rear guard to deal with the aftermath. War zones are unpredictable. We do not expect you will have cause to battle, but be prepared for the worst. Excuse me. You sent for me, Lady Rhea? 
This is Catherine. She will be leading the knights whom you will be accompanying. Nice to meet you. We've heard a lot about you. If you need anything, just ask. She is one of our bravest knights, and that is no small feat. Only an exceptional few have what it takes to join the Knights of Seros. This mission should prove useful in demonstrating to the students how foolish it would be to ever turn their blades on the church. And we're spectators. Great. Sadies would like to speak with you. Sure. Good evening, Professor. Returning from work, I take it? Uh, that's right. I commend you for working so late into the evening. All of my days at the Academy are enriching thanks to you. Try not to overtax yourself, all right? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. The goddess won't smite you if you rely on others for help, you know. Even... okay, well, even so. Listen here, Professor. You might not like what I'm about to say. To be perfectly honest, I had my doubts when I first met you. Uh, why is that? At first, I thought you seemed too young to be a professor. It is unusual, you have to admit. Yet, you seemed very composed and mature despite your age. You're strong-willed, encouraging, and you go to great lengths to ensure that everyone is cared for. But it almost feels like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. It comes with the territory. If that's how you feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. The mind has a tendency to make mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. In my case, I still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. Mistakes? Oh, you know. I'm always mixing up the dates for drills or misplacing things. Just the other day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my... Oh, um... Well, you can imagine how embarrassed I was. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. Anyway, where was I? Ah, that's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you do, you might end up in a pretty bad place. That reminds me, is there anything I can do to assist you, Professor? If it's all right with you, I'd like to help in any way I can. Thanks, I appreciate it. Whatever you need, just say the word. I look forward to helping you out. Okay. Sylvain, sure. Thank you so much. Uh, playing online lets you see the behavior of players around the world and see what percentage of players chose which activities on a given day, which units are most popular, and more. Referencing these statistics may give you ideas about how to spend, how best to spend your time. Oh, gee. Actually, a battle seems uh, pretty, pretty interesting today. Dimitri. You can be a soldier, or you can be this guy. I guess I was wrong with the... Oh no, 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 I was... Seems like I'm still potentially right. Um, I wasn't about making him a soldier anyways. Because... I would assume it would provide more... More, uh, whatchamacallits. Defense. Make him a soldier. Good results. So dramatic for a uh, 
like a test. Right, the only thing you can change into is a monk. Congratulations, you two. Still can't do that. Still can't do that. Uh, you have a large bullion. Sell that. We forged into an iron lance. Can I buy leather shields, you know? Nope. Got a lot of money, so I should buy some, some craziness. Um, buy you a steel lance, and we'll buy you a javelin. Alright, my homie over here. Buy you steel axe and a hand axe. I feel like I should give him a mace too. You know, for the for the future. Let's do it. All right, Mr. Felix. Give you a steel sword. Ash, give you a steel bow. Not really sure what I want to think about this mini bow, though. Can't make follow-up attacks at one space away. Just weird, I guess. Bill Vane. Give you that. Uh, I want to mess around with the convoy, actually. Um, menu. Inventory. Who has stuff that they don't need? can keep the chest key, I guess. Get rid of that garbage. Alright, I guess that'll work. Marketplace... off on you. I'm going to give you a steel lance as well. Mercedes. You don't really have anything. i most likely going to keep her as the spellcaster, so I guess she doesn't really need any of this. Although, there will come a time where she'll run out of spells, potentially. Be an iron bow just in case. All right, and you, you're just a spellcaster as well, and you have an iron axe too, I guess. And then you, you like spears and you like swords right now.
We'll give you a sword. Okay. Actions. Cleanup battle. Certifications, faculty training, share a meal. Interesting. It's, um, uh, Ort. Oh, we've got quite a few going on here. Getting in some early training, huh? Oh, it's not too terribly early. And what about you? <laughs> oh, I'm just going for my morning walk. Hey, maybe you'd like to join me. It's a great way to start the day. A morning walk? <laughs> Funny. Gustav always kept the same habit. You really do remind me of your father, Annette. I hear that a lot. Father was always busy with work, so he wasn't around much. But when he was home, he'd often take me with him for his walks. Annette, something's been weighing on me. Something I've done terribly wrong. Your father, he worked tirelessly. I don't know if I ever saw him take a rest. I feel as though, in a way, we stole him from you. I'll admit it was a bit lonely growing up, but I understand. Father loved his work. No one ever doubted that. Actually, I've been thinking recently that I'd like to talk to you more, Your Highness. Oh? Any reason in particular? Father was a man of few words, both with myself and my mother. But sometimes he would tell me about you. So, you don't really feel like a stranger to me. In a way, it's like I've known you for a long time. Almost as though you're my big brother. Your big brother? Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I let that slip out. That was rude of me. <laughs> no, nonsense. I promise you, I don't mind at all. It's certain that my days would have been filled with more fun if I'd had a little sister like you. What kind of things did Gustav tell you about me? I'd love to hear more on this topic. Do you really want to know? Well, for one, he used to tell this story about when you were a child, and... You know what? Never mind. I have a bad feeling about where this is going. How about you forget we had this talk all together, and don't mention it to anyone? Your body. Thank you for sparring with me, Your Highness. It seems despite how hard I've worked, I'm still no match for you. Oh, there's no need for such humility. Thanks to all of your hard work, you're improving rapidly. If you're going to praise me, it should at least be after I've won a match against you. You know, Ingrid, I may be the victor when we cross spears on foot like this. But on horseback, your handling of a lance is far superior. Can't I be allowed to have my own area of expertise? No, I cannot allow that. It's my duty to get stronger, to fight with all I have in defense of the kingdom and its people. Such high stakes. <laughs> By the way, where did you learn that fierce jab of yours? I'm pretty sure the only other person I've seen perform that move is Glenn. So you recognized it. Yes, he shared much with me. I thought as much. I never imagined I would be on the receiving end of one of his techniques again. Glenn and I once studied under the same instructor. I've sparred with him more times than I can count. Ah, uh, yes. He was never short on praise for you. Lord Dimitri is incredible. Such skill. There's no way I'll ever outmatch him. Things of that sort. Well, now, he never said any of that to me. Well, he was Felix's brother. That family's not big on displays of affection. That is true. We spent about as much time arguing as we did training. I can't believe it's been four years since the tragedy of Dusker. Since we lost Glenn along with so many others. So it has. Time moves quickly. Things have changed so much. Despite the sorrow, I intend to become a powerful knight. A knight like yourself. And like Glenn. 
I will do so for the sake of my homeland, the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, and for all who have died protecting it. To that end, I hope you will spar with me again in the future, Your Highness. It would be my pleasure. After all, I value our trading sessions as much as you do. <laughs> that shopping trip took longer than expected, didn't it, Mercy? It truly did. You bought just about everything in the place. <laughs> You're so good at deciding the best thing to buy. I sort of wanted it all. I mean, not that I was excessive. I think you bought just about as much as I did. Oh, really? The number of bags you're carrying says otherwise. What? That's... Oh, fine. You got me. I was just having too much fun. I love shopping with you, Mercy. It was fun. It's nice going into town without having to run errands for once. Isn't it? And I'm pretty confident the professor will forgive our little detour. <laughs> this actually reminds me of going to school in Ferdiad. Me too. It almost feels like that time in our lives was a story from long ago. So much has changed since then. Oh, but there's at least one thing that hasn't changed. Me and you, right? We're the same old friends we always were. That's just what I was about to say. I've known you so long I can always guess. Mercy, we'll stay friends like this forever, won't we? Is something wrong? You sound worried. Since our time in the capital, so much has happened. We've had to make new lives for ourselves, and we've seen at least as many hard times as good. If things keep changing like this, I wonder if we'll be able to stay the same people we are now. I wonder that too. I don't think everything in the future will be perfect. But it's us, so I'm sure we'll figure it out together, right? How did you know what I was going to say? <laughs> oh, Mercy, I can always guess what you're going to say. Oh, it's getting late. We better hurry back before the professor gets angry. You're right. Run, Mercy! What? Wait for me, Annie. You know I'm not as fast as you. <laughs> They're nice. Right. Oh, that's experience. All right, let's save. And um, I guess I'm gonna explore as well. There's so many activities today, I might as well. Uh, ask for help from a student outside your house, and that person will join you for battles and missions until the end of the month. You can only ask one student for help each month, and that student will not earn any experience. What a waste. Who's in... What are you doing? You have spent quite some time in here engaging in such idle chatter. Do you not know that we have not a moment left to waste? I should have listened more intently. You must try harder from now on. Doing in my room. Okay. Bolstering forces. Lost and found. Wisdom. Let's do some quests. Oh, there's like a little like uh, email thing here. Um, go up here first. Uh, it's a good way to build up support with someone you want to recruit. Ah, hey, that makes sense. Gotta. Press the right button here. I'm always pressing the wrong buttons. No way. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? 
spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? I kind of wish their dialogue before their quest. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Had something to do with their quest, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, you will receive faculty training from Manuela. All right. I mean, I do kind of want to learn some magic on him. Ooh, flying? Let me see. DR. What path do I want Byleth to take? Let's see. I kind of want to leave all the damage to all the other people. An armored knight would be pretty nice. I I really like armored knight, knights. Um, I haven't seen any paladins. Is that? Oh, there we go. Okay, so <laughs> paladins are a little high up on the list because <laughs> they're freaking godlike. Swordmasters are cool. Hmm. What do I want to build towards? A hero. Fortress Knight. A warrior. Well, that's for axes. Definitely need to be something that uses a sword, a sward. Maybe a hero. Uh, Swordmaster seems kind of squish. Assassin doesn't seem like anything I want to do. Alright, I guess it's going to be one of these. So, axes or bows is something that I will want to consider as a secondary. Oh, and uh, levels don't reset when you change your your class. Interesting. Um, I am curious what like the little star things do, but it's gonna take forever to get that to max rank. So we're gonna go with spards. I simply must thank you, Professor. Uh, it's kind of disappointing, too, that by doing this quest, it takes up my little activity points. Uh, drawing of a circle used to activate magic. Oh, you lost someone interested in magic and press. I know exactly who that is, but he's not his room. You need to remember to look out for uh, little blue things. Which means I must explore all the nooks and crannies. Open up. The, the common room. Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before, many years ago. It was by request of the son of that family. Christoph, I think it was. Christophy? I have a request. Uh, drop something, search the monastery, and find it for him. You should look for the captain's quarters. Oh, he can't just go to his own captain's quarters to find it. The lazy sucker. Do I have to return it to him? Yes, I do. How much for that uh, auto turn-in on all the quests? Only some of them. Also, airplane. Thanks for your help. Uh, use the gift option to increase your support 
points with others by giving them things they like. A gift will also increase an ally's motivation. You may sometimes find lost items around the monastery. Use the lost item option to return them to their owners and increase support points. As with gifts, an ally's motivation will also increase. Um, I've seen um, uh, like odds and ends of monastery play in this game. And uh, a lot of people that I've seen, whenever they have like lost items, they'll just go up to like every single random character and be like, is this yours? Is this yours? Is this yours? Is this yours? Uh, over and over again, because there's no punishment for for that or whatever. So uh, there's a decent possibility I'll be taking that approach as well at some point during this game. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night, weren't you? You shouldn't overdo it. A ghost might rise up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. I have a favor to ask of you. Uh, talk to the Cathedral's counselor to learn the various troubles plaguing the people of the monastery to help them solve them all and come closer to different people and get a steel bow and some pond snails. Maybe I'll go talk to the faction leaders again to figure out who, uh, who all is in what faction and who I want. Uh, each month, people will approach the counselor with their concerns. Select responses that satisfy them and your support points will increase. Uh, oh, this is timed. Uh, song and dance, living memories, but there's no living record of them. Even memories fade over time. Will anyone remember me when I'm gone? Uh, I'm sure you're living in someone's heart. Hooray. Thank you so much for your help. I, I guess they do that so you can't look up the answer. Professor, there must be some mistake. Lenato would never raise arms against the church. At least, he never said anything to me about it. And everybody has to tell you about it, man. Well... Let's see... I have one point. One itty bitty little point. Yeah, I should be. Uh, I wonder. The red quests are what you need. You like you're required no. to do those quests. So if I try to fish right now and then do the red quest, will he take that like will I still be able to do the quest? I'm gonna save and I'm gonna find out. For what it's worth, gardening and fishing don't cost any points. Oh, Well, in that case, uh, oh, harvest. it with magic.
because it's free. I'm so close. If the flowers within the greenhouse are removed, they will soon wilt and wither. Is that not so, Professor? I feel I can empathize with them. The flowers, flowers that thrive despite their environment, are truly inspiring, are they not? I also need to find Homeboy Slice to give him no. uh, rest. I know he wants it. Oh, right. Gotta talk to this guy to fish. Ho oh, ho ho! Level up! Supply of activity points for instructing and exploration has increased. Seems like the golden fish are like the money makers. I still know what the red fish do. Wow, the blue fish are just like ingredients or something. Is there a limit to how many times you can fish per day? Oh, I wasn't expecting that last one. I almost gave up. Right, give me a red. No red. Fishing stuff. The only limit is how much bait you have. It doesn't look like, you, at least I don't see any way to buy bait. Okay, so this guy definitely wants to take up some time here. I'm gonna save again. Okay. And then I want to do some faculty training. I just want to find that other guy. Where is he? There he is. The dining hall. There he is. Oh. School of Sor uh, Kingdom School of Sorcery. I don't know who that goes to. I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? That woman. She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three-second rule, ugh. That's great. Uh, this is probably yours. I can't believe I left this behind. Oh, thank you so much for retrieving it. I'm not sure why you didn't... Uh, well, none of that is useful for me. If you have a moment, I would like a word. 
It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Actually, no, not at all. If you do see anyone getting too close with flame, please inform me of it at once. Oh, the book guy, maybe. Faculty training. Oh, hey, you do swords. You also do leadership. I don't know what leadership is for. Oh, that would stay at a D, though. All right. Let's do swords. Rounder. I still have much to learn. Uh, do I see him? No. Where's that librarian guy? All right. Let's see what happens. What? I desired fresh air. Uh, the wind feels nice. Hmm. I have a favor to ask. Bringing some reinforcements along might give you an advantage in battle. Try talking to the battalion guildmaster. You can do swords and you can do punching. Oh. Oh, he's a faculty member. Leadership affects battalions and gambits. Ah. Go back to go fish. Professor. You didn't see me. Okay. Oh, so this is, I guess, the blacksmith guy. Whenever I get a hmm. game allows me to talk to him. Yep. What do you require? Replenish? Oh, interesting. Huh. Fire? See, I think this guy, he doesn't like battalions. Okay, so the higher the leadership, the better battalions you get to recruit. Hmm. Some of them have more HP than others. This one seems really good. That's an ice ability. Stride seem amazing. Do you want to hire this bit? You can rely on us. Right. I want to give this to you. Well, actually, maybe I'll give this to you. Well, I, I guess it really won't matter too much. Except I could give you... Well, no. Well, yeah, actually. You're more of our caster person. We'll give you, you this. To hire this to We're here to support you. And then we'll give you the uh, the white magic. Do you want to hire this battalion? Leave it all to. 
I dig it. Thank you. Italians from various territories gather at the guild. There are even some that aren't affiliated with the Church of Seros. As we are allowed to hire them, you should visit the guild soon and come to your own conclusions. As they fight, Italians will lose endurance. When that happens, you can replenish their endurance by visiting the Battalion Guild in the market. Battalion whose endurance is reduced to zero with, will withdraw, providing no benefits until replenished at the Battalion Guild. Okay. What? Hello there. Uh, oh, I can go this way now. Just do a leisurely stroll to get more little blue swirly thingies, if possible. Yeah, Stride is pretty amazing. It seems pretty good. Pretty good. Who you be? Oh, hello, Professor. Um... Was there something you needed? Came to see the horses. Oh, you like horses? I like them too. They're such kind creatures. Mission assistance. I don't even know what you do. Oh, Professor. Hello. Excuse me. Magic and writing. Oh, maybe see like a like a horseback mage or something. This. Oh. Here's a friend person. What about hey, Professor? Have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Felix. Well, crap. I don't remember where I saw him at all. Training grounds. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. Sylvain doesn't like any of those. Oh my goodness, there's a Pegasus Knight up there. <gasps> Do you see that monk dude? Look at that. I can't believe it. The Knight's Hall. What's up, the dude? His Highness is strong, but on the front lines, anything can happen. Losing him would be devastating for Fargus. I hope the church understands that. Dimitri. Doubtless, there are times when one must take up their blade, even if there's no chance of winning. But this, it's downright senseless. Lord Lenato knows better. If he had enough allies to back his rebellion, it would be a different matter. Uh, how so? Ah, my apologies. I was just thinking aloud. This whole situation is a bit too strange for my liking. Even with the necessary preparations in place, there is always a chance that something unexpected will occur. Please be ready for anything, Professor. This guy's cape is kind of crazy, because you would think this would be crazy obnoxious, all right? So check this out. It's just over his one shoulder, but there's no, like, clip in the back to keep it on that shoulder. So it's just going to fall over and just hang off the front of the clip all the time you know that would be the worst cape ever it does look nice though like if there's a little clip in the back or whatever just to to keep it on his shoulder that you know that that looks uh use some okay. some uh foreign terms here fly looks very fly bulletin board
Um, the dormitory. What are, um, oh. Hey, he was there. Go me. I mean, I know I got the, you know, the, whatchamacallit, but stuff. Lauren. It is a noble's duty to protect the common folk, not to endanger them by rallying armies in such a feckless and improper manner. Abuse of that kind is no better than slavery. A proper noble must guard the people from such a fate, wouldn't you say? I agree. Precisely why true nobility is well respected. It would seem it's a shame. What does this guy want? Charisma and reason? There's no way I'm gonna get charisma and reason. Ugh. Noble... Bring him along. Indeed. Who this? Oh. Just a scrub knight. I'm trying to go down there. Um, I think I'm good to go now. Yeah, okay. Manual destruction. Okay, four lesson plans. Um, how's he doing with the writing? Oh, he's at he's at D. You know, it's gonna take a little while. We'll, we'll get you there eventually, dog. All right, Felix. You want some sward? Man, there is like no way I'm ever gonna get you reason. Or leadership. Oh, well, he doesn't like leadership because he wants to be by himself. The skill goals are sword and brawling. Well, you almost got brawling, so let's go ahead and give you that level up right now. I can do better now. And I guess we're just gonna pump everything into spards. This could be useful, maybe. Okay, still vain. Let's see, for some reason you just have this fascination with axes. Riding. Would love to make him a paladin someday. Um And he's a reason guy too, like come on man. Uh, I've been using a lot of pole arms with him. Honestly, I don't like really any of these options. None of them are incredibly interesting to me. I thought this was a test. All right, that's enough praise. Wow. Wow. Wow, I seem D plus. I'm really getting the hang of this. Is that really how this works? Come on. D plus. Get out of here with that garbage. I thought this was a test. And I got two more. Ingrid's probably a good choice. Uh, so you want swords and lances. We're working towards that, it looks like. So we'll finish these off. It all makes sense now. I didn't even want to choose that one. That was 
I appreciate your guidance. I'm certain I... Uh, work towards writing. Okay, I got one left, and it's going to be Annette or Mercedes. Uh, yeah, Annette or Mercedes. It looks like I probably won't get a crazy amount here either way. But it looks like you're closer with reason. Let's see what other crazy stuff we can give you. Cutting Gale. Am I making progress? Okay. Doesn't have any like star abilities. Oh, we can boost up this, I guess. Thanks for your I learned a lot. That's everybody. Hold on, can I can I equip multiple people on group tasks? No. Okay. All right. We're going to we're going to go back to that. I'd like you to explain something. Uh, though I have served His Highness for four years, he has eluded my every attempt to learn his favorite foods. Um, I think these options are the most likely to succeed. This one, I'm guessing, is not going to do very well, because who else here at the school knows? Actually, no, there's a couple people. Yeah, try asking someone who's known him for a long time. I see. He has a couple childhood friends here. Professor. Uh, my passion has always been sorcery. Uh, with that passion in somewhere I'm studying reason, I can be a powerful magic user. Update goals. Uh, yeah. Sure. Hello, Professor. Do you have a moment? Of course. Well, I have this book of battle tactics that I borrowed from one of the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? Leave it to me! Great, thank you so much. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. Because you're a mage. I finally get it! You really are a great teacher. You're the one who did the work. No way! I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> I just love learning new things. That's why I came to the Officer's Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and, and, well, all kinds of stuff. I'm learning more now than I have in my whole entire life. Speaking of, I'd better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before sword training. Don't overdo it. That's just not possible. I always find it's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. I've never been any good at that. I have to have something to do. Like, on my days off, I need to get up early and take care of the cleaning first, or I just can't relax. You know what I mean? No. No. Not at all. Being lazy 
is fantastic. Uh, I know the feeling. Oh, I'm so glad you agree. You'd be surprised how rare it is to find people like us. Mercy never sets foot outside her room on her days off. I don't get that girl sometimes. Not to mention... Oh, wait. Oh, no. I was supposed to be on cooking duty today. Ugh, I completely forgot. Sorry, Professor, but I have to run. Thanks again for your help. Ah! Who put this stupid barrel here? <laughs> Oh dang, she got all of her motivation back. Lawrence, sure, we're bringing him along this time around, assuming there's room for him. Thank you. I'm poor. Lend me your power. Let's take care of it quickly. Good results. Perfect. Yikes. I've deepened my understanding. Well done. So this is how it's done. So when I did that, she doesn't get any secondaries. I wonder if that just means more points are poured into the first column since there's nothing to pour into the second column or if I just kind of goofed because I could have put the same amount of points into two separate columns. Okay, I was thinking about doing a battle on this day too. I'm gonna skip. Interesting. Let's save. Yeah, there's really nothing to explore here, so a battle would be pretty advantageous. Uh, this is a level six. It gives me meat. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the risky business, I guess. My thank you so much. You know, if I didn't choose the blue guys, I probably would have chose uh uh Edelgard. 